JASCO's Multivariate Secondary Structure Estimation Program quantifies the secondary structure components from a CD spectrum. To open the Secondary Structure Estimation Program, open Spectrum Manager, scroll to Analysis, and double-click on CD Multivariate SSE. First, you will need to select a calibration model. If you have not already created one, please reference the video on how to create a calibration model for the Secondary Structure Estimation Program. To select a calibration model, click File, Select Model, Open Model, or select the Open Model icon in the menu bar. Choose your model and select Open. To select a sample spectrum to be analyzed, click Spectrum, Open, or select the Open Spectrum icon in the menu bar. Make sure that whatever spectrum you select to open has the same wavelength range as the calibration model being used. Now choose your sample spectrum and click Open. If you have not already converted your CD data from units of ellipticity to molar ellipticity, you will be prompted to do so now. Once the optical constant menu box pops up, you need to specify the cell path length in centimeters as well as the mean residue molar concentration. If you do not know the mean residue molar concentration of your sample, the program can calculate it for you. You will need to enter the molecular weight of your sample in Daltons, along with the number of amino acid residues and the weight per volume of the sample. If you do know the molar concentration of your sample, but not the mean residue molar concentration, divide the molecular weight of the sample by the number of amino acid residues. Then multiply the molar concentration by this number. If you do not know the molecular weight or number of amino acid residues of the sample, you can use the average residue molecular weight or 110 grams per mole. Now click Calculation and the mean residue molar concentration will be calculated. After clicking Apply, the spectrum is analyzed and the quantitation results are populated on the left. The quantitation results provide the percentage of the alpha helical, beta sheet, turn, and other secondary structure content which make up your sample CD spectrum. On the right side of the window, you have three graphs. The top is the raw CD spectrum. The middle figure shows the raw CD spectrum in units of molar ellipticity as well as the fits for each secondary structure component and the total fit. The bottom figure is the residual error of the total fit. The multivariate method is listed on the top left. You can also select whether to adjust the composition ratio of the quantified secondary structures to a specified percentage, replace the negative values to zero, or display the data units. You can also specify how many decimal places the quantitation results are calculated to, as well as the rejection value. If your secondary structure quantitation results are displayed in parentheses, the values fall outside of the rejection percentage specified above or in the calibration model parameters. The higher the rejection rate, the stricter the evaluation of the data. To save or open your quantitation results, go to File, and choose which option you would like. To export your quantitation results as a text file, select Export Results. To export your calculated spectra as a text file, select Export Calculated Spectra.